Good morning. Welcome to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. As we begin today's ceremony, I ask that you please rise for the invocation. I invite you to pray with me according to your faith tradition as I pray in mine. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we gather together on the school summer morning, we come to celebrate and congratulate the students from class 2518 Alpha, who have sacrificed, studied, remained diligent, and who met the incredible demanding requirements of A school in order to stand here today as graduates. And for this, we give you thanks. As we celebrate each of these students here today, God, we give you thanks for all the people that you surrounded and encouraged them with. We give you thanks to you, O oh God, for their families, loved ones, friends, instructors, advisors, and mentors, and we ask for a special blessing to be upon them. And now, God, we ask that you would grant each of these students the same perseverance and success as they move on to the next step of their journey, our school. Bless them with a little bit of relaxation this weekend as they reconnect, relax, celebrate this, accom this accomplishment. Now, God, we ask that you go before the remainder of this ceremony. Be with our guest speakers, special guests, and these students, we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Amanda Meadows, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduation of Machinist Pates Class 2518 Alpha. We take this time today to mark the completion of long months of hard work for these sailors as they pass through the first leg of their journey to becoming nuclear operators. And we here at Nuclear Field A School are pleased to recognize them for the efforts and achievements they have put forth. Today's guest speaker is from Sonoma, California. She joined the Navy on July 19, 2017. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, she attended Nuclear Field A School and Power School in Charleston, South Carolina. She then attended Prototype in Ballison Spa, New York. Upon completing training, she was stationed on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier stationed in San Diego, California from 2019 to 2023. During her time on board, she supported two Western Pacific deployments, four operational reactor safeguards examinations, an 18-month shipyard availability, sea trials, and a variety of testing that prepared the ship for its next deployment. After one year, she was designated the Work Center Supervisor, coordinating maintenance and upkeep for reactor support systems. She worked as the Reactor Training Leading Petty Officer, Continuous Training Examination Coordinator, Reactor Propulsion Drill Team Leader, and Qualified Propulsion Plant Watch Supervisor. It is my pleasure to introduce Machinist Made Nuclear, First Class, Surface Warfare Qualified, Lauren Papineau. It is an honor and a privilege for me to speak to you today as we recognize this important first step of our Navy's next nuclear operators. Today we celebrate your accomplishment of completing Nuclear Field A School along with all the hard work and perseverance that you've demonstrated up until this point. Your tremendous effort should not be taken for granted. Yeah. The Navy recognizes your dedication and has seen fit to award you an accelerated advancement to third class petty officer. You've not only earned the pay increase that comes along with this accomplish accomplishment, but also the professional skills and access that being a graduate of this school allows for. Of course, your advancement will come with added responsibilities. You are now the role models to each subordinate rank. You must continue to strive towards excellence in your career in the nuclear Navy. There will be no easy days in this job. I can speak to the number of months away from home and family that you will experience in the performance of your duties. I can also speak to the immense personal reward and grat uh, gratification that you will feel in your careers. Whenever the times get hard, and they will, I implore you to dig deep and find that internal motivation and discipline. Lean on your shipmates as they will lean on you, and get through it as the team that you are. We, as the Naval Nuclear Power Community, have an unmatched record of safety, reliability, and sustained operational readiness. We have achieved and we sustain this record by ensuring that our reactor plants and engine rooms are staffed, are, are staffed around the clock every day of the year with the most competent and the most trustworthy operators. We now look to you as the next generation who will replace those who you see standing on this stage today and carry on the legacy of generations of nuclear operators before you. Know that your role is vital to the fleet and without you, no submarine or aircraft carrier would ever leave from the pier and our mission to defend freedom and democracy around the world would never be accomplished. Once again, congratulations.
friends and family, but most importantly, congratulations, graduates. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 23rd of May, 2025. Your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating these standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, with which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Friends and family, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out as they complete this training, as evidenced by earning the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduate is Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class Eli Jones. The Honor Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Meadows and Senior Chief Hinding. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class Eli Jones. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average from your class at Nuclear Field A School Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. <laughs> Military personnel, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for Machinist Mates Class 2518 Alpha. Chief Machine Spade Nuclear, Surface Warfare Qualified, Matt McNabb. Good morning, Commander Meadows, Chaplain, staff, our family and friends, and most importantly, our graduates. Today marks the completion of the first leg to becoming a nuclear operator. It's been a pleasure to be your advisor for the last four months, and I have the utmost confidence in your ability to complete this program successfully. Family and friends, Thank you for making the trek here to South Carolina to attend today. Joining the military is a difficult transition, not only for your sailors, but also for yourselves. So thank you for your patience and understanding as they continue on in their military careers. Graduates, I have three pieces of advice I want to leave you with, and I hope you remember. First, always strive to be the smartest in the room. Knowledge is power, especially in our line of work. Second, enjoy the moment. This career can go by like a blink of an eye. Enjoy it when you can. And last, look out for each other. You're going to be your best friends and your worst enemies by having each other's backs. Congratulations. Now presenting class 2518 Alpha. Left, face. Machinist mate, nuclear, third class, Jordan Alberti. Machinist Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Diego Ball and Jordan. Machinist Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Braden Curtis. Machinist 
Kismet Nuclear Third Class, Parker Green. Andrew Patrick Barnacastle. <laughs> Machines made nuclear third class, Jackson Hudson. <laughs> Machines made nuclear third class, Jonathan Christick. Nuclear third class, Thomas Loftus. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Aiden McCabe. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Brian Presley. Machinist made nuclear third class, Gabriel Rodriguez. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Jack Rogalinski. Machinist made nuclear third class, Mickey Sanchez. Nuclear third class, Nicholas Stork. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Brody Tadlock. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Reagan Taylor. Sailors are graduating with distinction. Machinist made nuclear third class, Gianni Costa. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, David Gonzalez Camacho. <laughs> Machinist made nuclear third class, Alan Lopez. Machinist made nuclear third class, Devin Razy. Machinist made nuclear third class, Lucas Torres. The following sailors are graduating with honors. Machinist made nuclear third class, Wesley Daniels. Machinist made nuclear third class, Anthony Johnson. Machinist made nuclear third class, Eli Jones. Machinist made nuclear third class, William Lawrence. Machinist made nuclear third class, James Ford. Each of these sailors has exerted a great deal of personal drive overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it here today. 
Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors apart is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples they have set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command recognizes the sailor from each class that displayed the highest levels of military bearing and reliability during their training with the following Personal Excellence Award. The recipient of this award is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing, Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class, Lucas Torres. Front and center. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Commander Meadows and Senior Chief Heine. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Machines Made Nuclear Third Class, Lucas Torres. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This sailor stands apart by virtue of hard work personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic effort, and perseverance in the face of adversity has made you an outstanding example for your shipmates to emulate. This performance is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. For over 75 years, the United States Navy has operated nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and submarines around the world, ensuring maritime security and deterrence. This has only been possible with the continued support of our family and friends. We ask that you continue this vital support as your sailor advances through nuclear power school and prototype. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing everyone here in about seven months for power school graduation. Please rise for our benediction. Please pray with me one last time. Gracious God, as we depart from this place here today, we once again give thanks for these amazing accomplishments of these graduates and pray for continued success as they move on to power school. Thank you again for their instructors, SLPOs, and mentors, and their loved ones who have encouraged them along the way. Thank you for their dedication to these students and for the help they have provided them. Now bless these students for their efforts and may they know how proud we are of them. Now may the Lord bless you, keep you, and the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations, and well done. Military personnel, carry on.